SQL Save from IDERA is an enterprise-level tool for centralizing and managing database backups, offering industry-leading compression and a unified view to consolidate multiple environments. SQL Save can massively reduce the time and storage and overall management costs involved in protecting data. Having badly managed, or worse still, no backups, can leave a company at best with periods of downtime and inoperable systems, and at worst, in breach of certain codes of regulatory and security compliance. SQL Safe has two main methods of management, in the form of a desktop client and then a unified web interface. The desktop application allows for multiple instances of SQL to be added, managed, backed up and recovered. This includes an ad hoc method of backup where databases can be selected from the navigational tree and protected immediately using options regarding location and compression. The type of backup can be dictated here, be it full, differential, log, or even the database files. SQL Save can write backups to locations that include UNC shares, directly to tape, and also up to the cloud. Encryption and compression options can be set to achieve the best return in performance based on the time the backup should take or the desired level of compression. While the backup processes, the statistical information is updated in real time, breaking down the file sizes consumed and referencing the compression level attained. High levels of compression ensure that not only are data storage costs reduced, but also the backup process is much quicker and more efficient, meaning they can potentially be performed more often. In addition to the compression, a massive benefit of using SQL Safe is the centralized user interface. Multiple policies can be created for general backups, log shipping, and auto backup and restores. Using a backup policy allows for multiple instances to be incorporated into a single job. This helps massively by reducing scripting time and job creation at the Management Studio console. Within a policy, databases can be protected in their entirety, or granularly cherry-picked for each instance. This can range from selecting all user databases to adding arbitrary exclusions or database names according to a pattern. Each policy can enable any combination of full, differential, or log backups, utilizing the compression and encryption options already shown. Similarly, there are location options for each backup type selected, so different backup types can reside on different disks for added security. One noticeable addition to this process is the retention periods that can be added, which will delete old backups when they hit the predefined age limit. Once the final schedule for frequency is set, in this case the full backups are being taken every day at midnight and the differentials are four hour intervals throughout the day and the logs filling in the gaps hourly. Alerts can be added to inform on the status from success to failure and everything in between. SQL Save can also be used to service log shipping, the benefit here being a central graphical interface and the use of extremely high compression that can be applied to the text-based log files. Very desirable, especially if the logs are being shipped over a wide area network. And finally, there are restore policies, which essentially back up and automatically restore databases to a second standby location, especially useful when a database is in simple recovery mode and therefore can't be shipped. Further to this automated method of recovery, there's a manual process similar to the ad hoc backup shown earlier. Backups can be selected from the database in question and processed via the resulting wizard. It's also worth highlighting that instances do not need to be licensed if they're being restored to only, and you can deploy agents to servers during this process. Multiple additional databases can be selected for restore, and a point of time can be selected for each one using a combination of the full log and differential backups taken. By stepping through the wizard, we have options to rename the database, select its recovery state, and also perform standard or instant restores. Instant restores are designed to minimize the amount of downtime associated with database backends being offline. The process is to take the very highly compressed backups and mount them virtually using their underlying files, meaning it's available to the SQL Server engine and applications while the full restore takes place in the background, in a process referred to as hydration. While the virtual reference to the database is online, it functions fully in terms of the data that can be provided and even incorporates inserts and updates and modifications which are all cached during this process. The second method of management comes in the form of the IDERA dashboard which is a common web framework designed to incorporate enterprise level tools. 
Products managed in the dashboard have a high level of detail in the form of widgets displayed in a heads-up initial overview. Selecting SQL Safe specifically offers full management of the tool, including adding new instances and policies, performing backups and restores, including object level. Policies and instances can be further managed to adjust the credentials and policy frequency. And finally, in the short introduction, there is the ability to filter on the health and status of databases. Where errors are found, they can be resolved by performing an ad hoc backup or adding the offending database to a policy. If you'd like to know more, you can download a trial of SQL Safe from our website, www.idera.com, and also visit us at community.idera.com.